What's up guys? This is the Brick Bros 239 No More. We are now Galactic Brick Studios. Um, if you look, there's been a change to our profile picture. Um, there's going to be a bit more change to come. Um, we've gotten a little bit more, say, professional with what we have. We actually have an actual good camera now. Um, we are now receiving money and um, we have learned how to change the pictures on our videos. I know a lot of the ones you saw before were pretty bad. Um, no more. If you'll notice the last video we posted has an awesome cover now. Um, getting better with our photography and um, yeah. So today we are revealing, I'm revealing the basis of the next mock. This mock is going to be four 48 by 48 gray, gray base plates big. Um, so I'm thinking, not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be based on Uta Power now. Okay? So um, it's going to be a giant clone base. Two of the base plates are going to be um, basically just for the clone base. It's going to be huge, it's going to be tall, it's going to have a rock wall in the front. And then as we move in, to back over here, like this right here is going to be where the clone base is, along with another base plate I have over here with our new studio picture. Um, but so as we move forward into mock back to where we're going, we're going to have droids. Um, and I think I'm going to hold a vote for you guys, but I'm going to wait until the end of this video to tell you what the vote is. Um, so today I'm just going to have you like this, I'm going to show you like what I'm going to be doing right here with the rock wall. Um, the rock wall is not going to be huge, but it's going to be pretty big to start off. Um, still don't know how tall I'm going to make it, but I'm going to start building this. Um, my cameraman Colin, who is the other part of Galactic, Galactic Brick Studios. Um, He's our cameraman today. Um, he's going to be supplying me with bricks while I put these on and make the design. Um, like I said, there's going to be a vote at the end of this. And if you don't have time to watch this, just please um, comment, subscribe, like, any concerns you have. Um, if you're willing to trade or if you have any sets that you want to give up or clones that you'd be willing to give away for a good price, um, where are you guys? Galactic Brick Studios. So let's get started. Um, I guess I'll just kind of talk to you guys as I go, but, um, so yeah, new name, I'm pretty hyped about, um, I felt like the Brick Bros 239 was way too childish, um, I mean, it was cool at first, but it, it was a good starter name, but we've matured a little bit now, um, me being in high school and my cameraman Colin being late middle school, um, we felt it was necessary to make a change. Um, so Galactic Brick Studios is the new name. As you can tell, we wanted to do something like Star Wars based. Um, Galactic obviously being a good option. Um, didn't really want to take anything from anyone. Um, so I had to make sure about that first. Um, yeah, so... Things are going pretty good. Um, as you can tell, we've actually, if you remember correctly, we've actually started off as a mainly Halo kind of place. And then we transitioned over to Star Wars. I just feel like Star Wars honestly holds a lot more opportunities. I still like Halo. I've got nothing against them. People at 343 Industries are awesome. Um, great detail with games and stuff. But whenever it comes to bricks, I think Lego definitely holds the number one spot. No offense to like the constructs, I still like your sets, so I'm still going to be buying from you guys. But, just something about Lego. You know, like, you get your first Lego set whenever you're a little kid, and you start off with Duplo, and um, you go into regular Legos. Like, I remember for me, my first Lego set was actually a Coast Guard helicopter, I think from 2008. But I love that thing, I still have that built, rebuilt it. Um, I don't know, I just feel like Lego's definitely been with me while I've grown up, and something I appreciate and enjoy. Um, 
as you can see, I'm just going down the line here with this wall. Um, yeah, my arm's going to be in the camera frame quite a bit. But um, you get to see general progression. Um, for the past videos, we've been called the Brick Bros 239. Um, not going to change that because that was our beginning. But um, from now on, just don't expect that. Just. We are now Galactic Brick Studios. Um, yeah. So. Thing's gonna come along pretty nice. I think this is good, probably gonna. I mean, this is going to be the biggest mock that we've ever done by far. Um, so the last one, the clone garage. I wanted to incorporate that in here somehow, and I know probably you guys out there agree with me that you really wanted to see that used in some way, shape, or form, where you just saw it instead of like seeing it for two seconds and then it gets annihilated, which is pretty cool, but it wasn't cool for me because I was kind of sad. Um, you probably would have liked to see that, but. Honestly, I could not think of a scenario where, with what I want to do, and with what we were planning, um, how I can make that work. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is probably going to be on Utapal. Um, we're probably going to have some Phase 1 clones in here, like the regular white clones. Um, obviously, Phase 2 Utapal clones. Um... I don't want to give away too much because, like I said, at the end, we're going to have a little vote where you're going to comment below what you liked about the video and why you think we should do one of two options. Um, it's not really going to affect the scenery, but it's going to affect the battlefield a lot. And I think that it would be really, really cool for either one of the scenarios. Um, I'm not going to give away too much because I want you guys to say, stay interested and have a say in what we're going to do. Um, but, so you see, we've gotten about two layers in. Um, it's actually not my first time building a rock wall. I've actually had quite a bit of experience with this sort of thing. Um, it's one of my favorite things I enjoy doing in LEGO. Um, if I have time, I'll upload a little sea hut that I made with some cool um, cliffs and like a waterfall that I really, really enjoyed. If I have time, I'll upload that to show you guys. Um, no, I'm busy man. High school's not easiest thing in the world. Um, yeah, so this thing's coming along. Um, just gradually going. Just with walls, I feel like it's kind of like a little freestyle where like you really just go with whatever. I mean, it's a rock wall. It's gonna be jagged. It's gonna be cliffish it's it's going to be interesting like it's not going to be your average everyday like location i'm not looking for completely symmetricalness um you might do is a little bit curved back um but this is i don't know i just find these fun because you can really really be creative you don't have to be like setting out for this is exactly how I want to do something. No, you don't have to be like that with the rock. And whatever combination you come up with, as long as you use a bunch of different things, then it honestly ends up looking pretty darn good. Which I have to say, this one is already coming along pretty well. Um, wondering, um, back in planning again, the front of the two base plates for the base are going to have the rock wall. Somewhere I think on the left side, because this is going to be the right side of the base. Um, I'm going to have this really interesting sliding door. Maybe somewhat based off of, if you watch the clone turbo tank garage video. Maybe something based like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'll decide later. Um, do you guys have any suggestions that you want to give me? Um, or Colin for taking videos, or for me for what I should do next, then go ahead and comment below. Always open for comments. How we get better. How we make ourselves better. Um, I think this is getting close to what I want to get. It's probably going to be about three more layers high. Um, I guess I might as well go ahead and 
announce the vote to you guys before you zone out and leave. Um, so the vote is going to be on, there's two different scenarios that we can go with here. Um, I was thinking, and we were contemplating this, but so, two different scenarios we could do. So, first one, this is pre, like, Order 66, and we've got, like, droids attacking, since feudal power is a struggle to win over, obviously, we could have something with, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, not General Grievous, since they didn't really meet till the end of the third movie. By that time, Order 66 was already about to happen. Um, so we could have basically Phase 2 Unipowered Troopers, maybe some Phase 1 regular white troopers and a commander here or there or something like that. Commander Cody in the base um, leading a defensive against the droid army. Or we could do something more along the lines of for me, I feel like this would be a little bit cooler, or a little bit more of a challenge or interesting, because you don't really see many people do this. But, um, so let's say this is after Order 66, right? So, the Utapod Troopers have already betrayed the Jedi, obviously, shooting at Obi-Wan Kenobi, falls in the water on Utapod after he slays Grievous. And, um, but, oh man, whoops. But, so this could be, like, after that all happens. And, um, so we could have, like, a clone resistance led by Captain Rex, either Phase 1 or Phase 2. I'm personally a fan of Phase 1. I'm a fan of Phase 2, so we'll have to talk about that if we do that. Um, but so Captain Rex could be leading his group of clones that were very loyal, didn't go to Order 66, so probably get, like, Commander Wolves or something like that. Um, bunch of Phase 1 and Phase 2 is, like, a big mix. I feel like that would be really, really cool, and it'd be interesting. Like, they would be in the base, like, this could be their secret base, but the Utapal Troopers have discovered that they're not with them and they're hiding out, right? And, um, just lost my piece. There we go. So, the Utapal Troopers could be invading them, and we could have, like, a battle scene with dead clones, destroyed droids, since the droid army would be falling at this point. Um, be a lot of opportunity in this thing, honestly. Um, there'd be a bunch of characters, a bunch of figures, um, but we need help from the community. I need you guys to probably step up and help me get some figures in here, because, like, I'm, I'm definitely going to get some more figures, but... For the size of this thing and how this is going to go, I think we're going to need a lot if we go with that option. So, option number one is going with just droids battling clones in a clone base on Utapau. Option number two would be the Utapau clones who have discovered that there are clones who kind of did a triple cross, I guess you could say, or double cross, I don't know, it gets complicated if clones are supposed to betray, but then they betray the clones that were going to betray the Jedi, who betrayed them, um, but so yeah, first scenario, droids versus clones, second scenario, droids are dead, clones are dead, clones versus clones, with Captain Rex, Commander Cody, the whole shebang, um, I feel like that'd be pretty cool, um, but yeah, just leave your votes below. We're getting pretty close to the end of this first section of the wall. Um, figure you guys can look at this, watch as this kind of gets underway. Um, please, like I said, leave your votes below. Any comments, concerns, please subscribe, like, follow. Um, I'm going to do updates on this. I think we're going to probably do something like weekly. Um... Or maybe like daily or every other day because I kind of am anxious to get this thing going and rock and rolling. Um, I mean, I, I need to get some more clones first. Uh, make a list of priorities. So we need to get more clones, right? No matter what we do, then we need to get clones. But in order for me to decide what clones I need to get, I need your guys' input. Um, you need to get two more base plates in here. 
think we have some somewhere. If not, can't find them. Let's go buy some more. Um, and then three. If we go, honestly, with probably the first option is the only time that we would have to deal with this. Um, you'd have to buy some more droids if we were to go the first option. If we went section op second option, I do not believe that we'd have to buy any more droids. Um, we've got a pretty substantial amount right now, enough to do with. Um, yeah, so this thing's just about done. It's going to be taller than this, guys. Don't worry. Um, the clone face that I told you is going to be in pretty much every mock will be in pretty much every mock in the near future because I like to keep memoirs from old things that I found were pretty cool. And I honestly haven't really seen anybody do anything like that before. And it's just kind of special to me. And um, we believe that we should keep that together as of right now. Um, took apart the rest of it, obviously. You saw the destruction of it. Um, so we're probably going to incorporate that somewhere up along the top, like right over here. Maybe have some like gray mixing into white bricks up here. Um, probably a roof like somewhere up here. It's going to be tall. Um, it's going to be cool. Um, yeah, going to get some speeders. Going to get some more clones. Probably a few more droids with either one of the options that we go with. Um, yeah, so this is just about done. I'm going to add one more layer. And then... That'll be it. Um, let's go ahead and get this layer finished up. Um, got this going pretty good. As you can see, I really, really like, like I mentioned before, how the cliff edge or rock edge architecture is. It's, it's really, really interesting or enthralling to me. I mean, I've always found it pretty cool how, like, you can make tiny little pieces of plastic that you just put in certain shapes and you mold them. You can put in this stuff like this. Um, yeah, so this is it, guys. Um, please like, subscribe, <coughs> and comment. Um, yeah, Galactic Brick Studios out.